Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In our today's video, we'll be discussing something which is really important. And this is going to be a really important questions also if you're talking about the Oracle DBA interview questions. So the people will ask you what is the backup strategy uh, when you are going for the interview. Definitely we'll see this kind of questions. Now you need to understand about the backup strategy when we need to take which backup and what is the schedule. So all those things we need to understand. And we will try to you know find out the solution uh, with this video okay so let's start with the backup strategy in the oracle database technology you can refer the same video for other databases as well just like your sql server or mysql both the things you can uh, you know include with this part so let's start it you know in the oracle db field uh, you will see uh, three kind of backup basically i'm talking about the full database backup then again uh, incremental backup and few people are also taking the Oracle level backup. Oracle level backup is really important. Okay. So why the backup is important? Backup is important for the disaster recovery purpose. You know, if something went wrong in the, you know, the organization you're working or where you have a service, where you have a data reside, let's say some earthquake or something happened, you know. So in that case, what we'll do, you can use that backup for the restoration purpose. So basically you need the full database backup to restore that kind of you know in the disaster recovery situation now the next question is when you are taking the full database backup how you are configuring that database backup everything we will see with this video let's talk about the full database backup in the full database backup we are not taking the backup on daily basis because if you are taking full database backup definitely that is going to consume a huge amount of space Next thing is when the backup is going on, it will also consume the resources like your memory, the resources like your CPU, and you will see a lot of performance issue uh, when the users are trying to do some trying, uh, you know, kind of a transition. You will see that kind of performance issue also when the backup is going on. So if I'm talking about the full database backup, we normally take it in the non-business hours, just like you know Saturday or Sunday. So full database backup, you can take it for few database on Saturday, for few database you could take it on Sunday. Why not simultaneously? Again, if you trigger all the full database backup at a time, definitely that is going to consume huge amount of memory again. And that will be a huge amount of load for your backup servers. So it is always recommend to take the backup on Saturday. And Saturday also you can change little bit time and for sunday also for rest of the backup you can take the full database backup so this is all about the full database backup now let's talk about the incremental backup so what will happen if something went wrong in the middle of week let's like say thursday or friday so you know you don't have the backup of the sunday this is the next question when you are talking about the backup strategy so in that case what you can do you can take the incremental backup on daily basis but again you can take it on after the business hours so after you know six o'clock if you are working with the us client so after the six, six uh, pm uh, because on that time all the clients will do, uh, leave the office and definitely they you will not see a much uh, the queries running on the databases because simultaneously if you are trying to you know do the some transaction like your select query or insert query and you uh, on the other hand side you are trying to you know take the backup again there will be a performance issue for the databases so incremental backup you can take it on daily basis uh, after the business hours and you know whatever the changes happen after the full database backup that will cover with that when I'm saying like full database backup, make sure it's a incremental level zero backup. When I'm saying incremental backup, again, it's a incremental level one backup. Okay. Now, uh, third backup strategy, we will talk about the archive level backup. Whatever the changes you are doing it on the databases, definitely that is going to be stored in your Riddle logs. And the backup of copy uh, and the copy of your Riddle logs, we call it as a archive logs. So if you are making any changes like your update query, definitely that archive backup needs to be taken up. Now here again one question for the Oracle database. What will happen if I'm not taking the archive backup? 
your database go into the hung state and you will not be able to connect to the databases how to avoid this situation you can avoid this situation by changing the arc log destination or by taking the backup of your archives so it is all about you and depending on the situation you can take the required action for that so when to take this archive level backup whenever the archive level backup the uh, you know archive destination i'm talking about the destination usage is going more than 70 percent or 80 percent you can start the archive level backup but is it necessary or is it possible to take the manual backup of archive and is it possible to check every time the usage of that mount point archive destination i'm saying no so you need to return uh, you know you need to write the script uh, in the backup part saying whenever the usage of that particular uh, archive destination is going more than 70 percent automatically that backup needs to be triggered same thing you can configure in your oem also oracle enterprise manager is a monitoring tool where you need to register all your databases and it will monitor to your database so this is how you can try to do all those things next thing is again if you are talking about the archive level backup full database backup or incremental backup you can configure all those backup either in oem or you can write your own script it can be your shell script or pulse script and you can configure that script in the cron tab so cron tab again it's a job scheduling utility or you can say it's a tool itself it's not a it's not a third party tool that is again coming with your server itself so you can use that cron tab to you know configure and your jobs in the oracle databases so this is all about the backup strategy in the oracle database technology i hope this video is really going to be helpful for you if you want to support us you can check the description box you can support uh, so that you know the more than more videos will be coming into the future. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do like, subscribe and share this channel. Bye bye for the day.